Hello, my name is Rachel Tabor and I will be answering interview questions posed by Nathan. First question. The term safe spaces can often be misconstrued by politics and in so doing gets robbed of its meaning. At our school, we believe that safe spaces are environments that are com comfortable and accepting to any and all students, regardless of race, sexuality, nationality, religion, etc. Do you believe such spaces are important for students in your classroom? If so, how will you create an environment that reflects this? If not, explain why this perspective may not be pertinent to your teaching environment. Thank you for that question, Nathan. I believe that safe spaces are, safe space environments are essential for all students in every classroom. If a student feels safe, or the first thing a student needs to do is feel safe and accepted and comfortable and to be their true self before any academics or creative work can even happen. That needs to be step one, like a, a ground layer. Um, social emotional learning is a great way to, to build a safe space. And I believe theater activities like improv and uh, ensemble work, work to create teamwork and a community aspect. So theater activities have social emotional learning elements built into them. So that's, that's one reason I love theater. There's a lot of reasons, but that's one thing reason that helps to create those safe spaces. Personally, I create safe spaces in my classroom environment by doing a simple little gesture of adding my pronouns when I first introduce myself to my students. So for example, I say, hi, my name is Mrs. Tabor and my pronouns are she, her. I also have um, very crafty friends and they, one of them made these little pins that uh, say, hello, my pronouns are. So I wear this one on my lanyard. And just that little gesture is a way for my students to know, oh, well, I can go talk to her. I can confide in her. She's aware and sensitive to all kinds of different types of people and types of situations. So just that little gesture is a way to help create a safe space and build a community within my classroom space. Um, another way I create that safe space is if we are performing, usually we do some work on an activity or a task, and then there's time to perform in a group or with a partner or things like that. I may have made it a rule since the beginning that I never force a student to perform if they're not ready or they're not comfortable. Um, I tell them that the, the work they do with their group or with their partner is the meat of the assignment or is the the main goal of the task the performance is just kind of extra on top that's like the cherry on top of the ice cream um so it's just extra fun but the the main work is the work that they do with their partner so i feel like that not forcing them to perform gives them the confidence to work with their group more expressively and openly without the weighted fear of, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to perform this. Let's make sure it's perfect, whatever. They can just kind of let loose and take on the activity without that added pressure. So that helps to create a safe space environment. And the last thing is uh, that I do to create a safe space is I tell them, I divulge my own fears and insecurities because as a teacher I have to talk a lot in front of people and sometimes I'm super comfortable with that and sometimes I am scared and I still get stage fright mostly when I'm talking to their parents kids I'm usually I, I teach elementary school so usually pretty comfortable in front of students but even sometimes if it's a, a rough class or anything like that I, I get a little bit of stage fright and I told my students that. I was like, if you ever notice when I just kind of pause when I'm talking, I'm taking a deep breath and I'm composing myself. And it's like, okay. And then sometimes I even model that for them. I show them that even teachers, adults, get nervous, get scared, get flustered, get over, get frustrated. 
So just taking a deep breath helps me kind of calm myself and center myself. So showing that even people that they look up to, like their teachers, still can get stage fright and still get nervous and still have those insecurities helps to create that community and that safe space with us. Thank you.